Welcome to Alamo, the home of fashion for all fashionistas. I'm your host, Tim Victor. Now, just like every new show, we're coming out with a bang. Our theme for today's episode is graduation. We have a real treat for you. In just a few moments, we will introduce to you Alamo's king and queen, Matt and Valina. The fashion designer Berber will inspire you to go back to your closet and bring life <laughs> into your old clothes. We also have Emily Jane, Birmingham's best fashion blogger in the studio. She will be giving out some styling tips, so please don't you go anywhere. It was the Spider-Man 2 premiere yesterday. The actress Emma Stone was not so mellow, wowing us in a beautiful, bright yellow Versace gown. Yes, she nailed it by having her red locks in a 50s-inspired glamour side parted. Yes, finally, some good fashion news about Katie Holmes. I repeat, good fashion news. Now let's be honest here. It felt like her stylist was struggling a little bit to find a good look that works for her for the past year. Anyway, she looked sensational yesterday at the Tiffany's and Blue Book celebration in New York. The mother of one rocked a gorgeous navy 60s inspired dress with a cream underlay and 60s and sexy, sorry, court shoes. She really kept her makeup and jewelry to the minimum to let the dress speak for itself. Hope she continues to wow us like that. But you know what? Our fashion stylists don't make mistakes. Two stylists, two contestants, one winner. Let me introduce to you the king and queen of Alamo mode. Matt and Valina. Hello, hello, fashion lovers. My name is Valina and I'm the queen of Alamode. And I am Matt and I am proud to say I am the king of Alamode. Come on, ladies, first. Bonjour, le, le fashion. 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 I love fashion. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm a freelance makeup artist based in the West Midlands. Um, I've had experience on films, television, theatre productions, lots of other productions, catwalks, fashion, and makeup artist to the stars. Working for Givenchy is amazing. I get to travel all around the world, all, all up and down the UK, different events, making women look spectacular. It really is a dream come true. Alamo for me is a fantastic opportunity to show my creative skills and to be part of something really big. The most satisfying thing for me as a makeup artist is seeing the reaction of my client when she or he is done. Because I have lots of different clients from different backgrounds, whether it's making someone look like a 90 year old woman or whether it's a fashion high fashion look where it's big purple smoky eyes and intense red lips, big hair. Surrounding myself with creative people is a must every day. And even though Valina is creative, I don't think she's got what it takes to beat me. artist uh, as well as a stylist. Fashion has been always very important for me and I'm always trying to bring the best in people's features no matter if it's a film or a catwalk or a special occasion makeup and hair. I've been involved in uh, all kinds of different projects including catwalks and uh, feature film, short film, music videos. This is uh, basically filming is what I like to be involved in. Um, Matt has been my friend for the three years now. Uh, we've, we've been studying together and we basically like twins, twin sisters. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I like being uh, creative and always think out of the ordinary. Um, 
This is why I'm trying to pick my project before I get involved to make sure that I'll benefit from all that and I'll get the best out of it. She's so fabulous and amazing. He's so amazing, such a good friend. We're really good friends. But when it comes to this, we need to forget about our friendship. She cannot win any of the battles. He will regret this. I will crush her. I will win. If she's got any chance of beating me, she's gonna have to clone us out. I will do anything to make him suffer. Let's do it. Hey guys, how are you? Hi. Great, thank you. Welcome to Alamo. Mode. Thank you. Um, you have a history together, and you've always worked together? Yeah, we've known each other for quite a while, haven't we? Yeah. yeah About how long? Oh, God, pretty Three years, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Three years, yeah. Three, four years now. We've been very close, that's four or three, four, three or four years now as well. Since we've met, really. Yeah. yeah. Like brother and sister. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I can tell from the way you guys were <laughs> offset, you guys have a really good relationship. All right, so about your models today, tell me, what is it that you have prepared for our models today? Well, my model's name is uh, Christina, and um, I've prepared for her a dress uh, in blue and white mm -hmm. from Unmundo Boutique in Birmingham. Okay. And it's very sleek, uh, chic style, mm -hmm. more for bridal um, kind of occasions mm -hmm. and special occasions or prom as well. Okay. For you, Matt, what, what, what did you prepare for your model today? I've got a beautiful Oscar ready dress. It's mm -hmm. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. See, it's very sleek, it's nice. very sophisticated, right. um, very drapey. Mm -hmm. um, and my model is just perfect. She's just, again, She's got the most beautiful skin, mm -hmm. the most beautiful features, mm -hmm. beautiful eyes. Yeah. So, we're gonna so that brings it out yeah. for the dress. So it's what's the name of your model? KK. KK? Yeah. And what, what designer is it, the dress? Disorder. Disorder. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm a personal fan of Disorder. Mm -hmm. I get quite a lot of my own clothes from Disorder. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely fantastic okay. boutique. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing that. So yours, um, you mentioned before that you two are like twins. You have a very close relationship. But even though you say that, your styles are very different. They are, Can yeah. you please explain? Your style for me? It's just my style is more sleek and chic than mm -hmm. his is more funky. Mm -hmm. But um, you know how the opposite attract each opposite, other. So yeah. basically that's what happened <laughs> yeah, with us. Yeah, Valina loves the colour. Yeah. She's like all about colour. Oh, whereas I, I see yeah. the shoes and everything, <laughs> yeah. the outfit's really nice. And you're just more of a laid back, yeah. simple yet effective guy. Yeah. All right, well, I'm looking forward to seeing the work of the models. Well, I haven't already met KK and Katarina, but you haven't. So let's check them out. Hello, my name is Katerina. I'm from Bulgaria and I'm 20 years old. I live in Birmingham and I studied at Birmingham City University. In my free time, I'm a model. I've always done it as my hobby. In my free time, I really like to take photographs. I have studied a few subjects connected to it in university, but I've started to do it as my hobby since my last birthday when my parents gave me the professional camera. So I started shooting some really beautiful things that I see. And I'm gonna make a collection of them. I want to make my own portfolio on it, just as something that I do as a hobby. I love everything connected to art and culture, everything that's beautiful, that's artistic and different. When I came to the UK, I stopped doing modeling because I wanted to do my studies. And now I'm just really happy that Valina chose me for participating in Alamo to have the chance to do this again and experience this again.
Hi, I'm Kalfa, KK for short. Um, I'm 19 years old and I'm studying psychology and sociology in Birmingham City University. I love having a good time, I love laughing. I'd rather die young having laughed throughout my life than live forever miserably because I don't see the point in life if you can't smile. <laughs> Can get in the way of what I feel. I look up to different people according to different uh, genres of stuff. So for example in music, I do look up to people like Bob Marley. Um, I love Alicia Keys music, Beyonce. I take friendship really seriously and I treasure it a lot and I don't feel like I need a big group. I have just my close ones who are really important to me and with them we go out together, we do silly things and um, I'm not afraid to be me around them and I think that's important and that's what defines friendship. I feel for you. Okay then Matt and Valina, okay, we have given you a 200 pound budget. You have 30 minutes, so use your imagination and create Alamo mode fashion, okay? Let the competitions begin. Hey guys, all through the show, we will have a cheeky look behind the scenes so we know what our stylists are up to. Anyway, Birmingham is known for its love for fashion, so I went down to ask what people would wear to a graduation ball, and I got some very interesting ideas. But don't you go anywhere, because after that we will have Paul, a Birmingham-based fashion designer who's going to show you how to make a nice dress out of two simple t-shirts. Very interesting. I'm Tim Victor, and today I'm here in Birmingham City Center, where I'll be asking some fashion-forward people to describe what they would wear to a graduation ball. Let's go! So I'm loving this girl style right okay. here. So let me ask you a question. What would you wear to a graduation ball? I think uh, I would make something. Oh, what would you make? I think maybe some kind of extravagant suit, maybe. A bit of a rainbow color, maybe. Big headpiece. I don't know, a bit of imagination. It's a big thing, isn't it? So tell me, why a rainbow color? Why, why that? Um, color kind of makes me happy. You know when you see the sunshine and it's summer and you're yeah. feeling all good, blah, blah, blah. That's, that's how I feel when I dress in colour, I guess. A suit. Where would you buy the suit from? Hugo Boss. Hugo, Hugo Boss, nice. With what colour? Black or grey. Black or grey. I would wear a suit a and suit? a tie. Okay, where would you buy the suit from? Where would you buy the suit from? From Armani. Armani? Yeah. Alright, touch me. That was great. So graduation ball, I'd wear a nice dress. Uh, probably, probably short and then with some nice heels. Um, I usually go for bright colors. Color like what? Ooh, like reds, uh, colors that normally catch people's eyes. Something that makes you stand out. Yeah, because you're going to be taking a lot of photos, so okay. something that stands out, and then probably with some nice jewelry pieces, because I'm a jewelry designer. Um, I'll probably wear a nice long flowing dress, or something like that. Well, what about the color? What color would it be? Um, maybe something bright. Not sure. Um, probably because graduation is probably going to be in the summer, so something nice and bright and floral or something. Oh, thank you. What about yourself? I would say a nice bodycon dress, a midi. And Ooh, so you're going for the sexy look? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Probably like a dark purple. Okay. Kind of look, and yeah. All right, tell me, what kind of shoes would you wear with it? Um, high heels, open toe, like strap shoes. Um, I'll probably wear something quite smart, formal, um, but at the same time fashionable. I'll probably try and keep up with the um, trends that I'll be you know, set throughout the, the, the graduation, but um, from in general. Um, yeah, I don't think I've got anything else to say. I see you looking. How about yourself, sir? Very similar. Um, I mean, I'm going back years, but ours was a bit of a theme night as well, so mm -hmm. it was sort of formal in the day. Mm -hmm. At night time, it was more of a beach party, so it was shorts. T-shirt, oh, nice. the hula. So yeah, <laughs> well, you know that was 21 years ago. So okay. All right. um, probably like a classic um, A-line strapless dress, something like that. How about yourself? 
Um, yeah, probably the same. Definitely some like wedges, maybe. Would it be long or short? Colors? What? Tell me. Long, definitely. Um, might be just grey, classic, and simple, like something like a black dress. Nice. And how about yourself? More short, definitely short. Yeah. Give me a color. What would you wear with it? What like what? What color would be your dress? Probably black. Black? Why black? Formal. Yeah, it's quite formal. Very classic. You know, dateless. Not gonna go out of style. Yeah. <laughs> well, when I did, I made my own outfit with um, like a blazer and fur cuffs. Yeah, you had big fluffy arm cuffs, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, and um, tart and trousers. Yeah, and you did me a matching dicky bow. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the same material. Yeah, it's really cute. Seems like we have a lot of designers in rowing here. But... <laughs> Whoa, it's very cold and it's raining, but I'm just going to give you a summary of what happened today. It's been very interesting to see the people of Birmingham today to hear what they would wear to give us fashion styles and fashion tips about what they would wear to a graduation ball. It has been a really great day. I'm very cold. It's raining. I need to get out. But thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Tim Victor. See you next time. Welcome back to Alamode. It was fun speaking to the people of Birmingham. We now have Paul sitting next to me. Hey, Paul, welcome to the show. Thank you. Oh, how I really love your rings. Can we have somebody to zoom in on his rings, please? <laughs> I remember you were telling me before we started that each and every single one of those rings have a story. Well, they're, they're each from either a friend or a relative, so okay. um, yeah. All right, so tell me, why do you have a passion for fashion? Um, well, I first started designing really back in the early 90s because I was in the music business. I was a performer. Okay. Um, so I used to design a lot of my own stage wear. Mm -hmm. um, and then people started to ask me if I could make something similar right. or, you know, just one off pieces. Mm -hmm. um, and then I went to fashion college for a few terms, um, but then decided I didn't want to take the route of university. Okay. Um, so I left and started my own label. Wow. And you've progressed to this. Yeah, um, wow. had a, a shop for a year. Okay. Um, What's the and, name of your shop? Uh, sorry? What's the name of your shop? It was uh, Beba Couture, okay. um, which is the name of the label. Okay. Um, and then I, I, so I did that for 12 months, mm -hmm. and now I concentrate on making small collections for boutiques up and down the country. Wow. One of which being Disorder Boutique. Um, here in Birmingham. Oh, great. So I do understand that you've brought, you're doing, a, you're going to do a bit of a DIY, a DIY for us today. So what have you prepared for us? Well, I've done a multi-layered punk inspired uh, strappy dress top. I like it. Um, in uh, two colors. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very simple to make mm -hmm. um, and very obviously economic as well. <laughs> <laughs> it gives me that really punky look. I like, I like, I like what she's working with there. Yeah, I do. I do like the whole kind of punk mm -hmm. look. You, you know, you you get that kind of um, strappy effect a lot on uh, rock band t-shirts. Right, right, yeah. Um, but um, I thought I'd make it into a, a double layered dress. Mm -hmm. So, what inspired you to do such a very artistic piece? Um, <laughs> well, the. The brief was mm -hmm. um, to to make something DIY, that's something something that people can make make easily, right? Um, but without any sewing or mm -hmm. stitching or anything, you know, okay. something that people could do quite easily. So I believe you're going to give us a bit of a demonstration how to do that. Well, yeah, it's very simple to all do. Right, let's see. <laughs> um, all you need is a pair of household scissors. Okay. Um, and a plain t-shirt. So that's a, just a simple plain just black t-shirt. A regular t-shirt. How much would you get that for? Um, Two pans. From Primark? Yeah. Nice, okay. Yeah. Um, so, basically, mm -hmm. all you do is you cut it into strips. Yeah. Across. Okay. Very quickly. Mm -hmm. You can do it as, as neatly or as raggedly as you like. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, just straight across. You just go straight across with it, okay. Nice. And you can do it as wide or as narrow as you like, or okay. you can come down into a V-shape, okay. any way you like. Okay. okay, and once you've done that, mm -hmm. it's very, very simple. It's almost like plaiting. Yeah. And Seriously? what you do is, you get the first one, Okay. bring it over. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you're Second. braided. Yeah. Oh, nice. 
So you've always got one in the middle okay. that you're bringing over. And just keep on that. And you're pulling it to the sides like that. Okay. Can I have a try? Yeah. <laughs> so what do you do? You just... Take that one. Take this one. Okay. Yeah. And bring it over. Bring it over to here. To the... To this, this one. one here. Okay. And then take this one. Okay. You're always going for the third. Okay. The third. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see. And it's... Gives it that... Okay. It's I giving see. it this join along mm, there. Nice. So then you get the kind of braided effect down. Yes, coming down. The T-shirt. Yeah. Then when you get to the bottom... Mm -hmm. You just literally snip off the two ends mm -hmm. and tie them off, mm -hmm. like you can see on the on top there, yeah. um, and it's done. Okay. I mean, th with that particular one, mm -hmm. what I did was, with mm -hmm. one of the t-shirts, I did the straps crossways, mm -hmm. and the other one, I did it long ways. Okay. Well, it was very good having you on the show today, Barbara. Thank, thank you so you. much, and thank you very much to our model, Penny. Thank you. Now, let's take a look backstage and see how the preparations are going. Hey guys, how does it feel to work under pressure? Amazing, actually. We feel no pressure at all. I love working under pressure. Makes it one more enjoyable. Well, Matt, what have you done so far? I've done complexion and hair. So I'm just focusing on eyes and lips now, and that's it. And Valina, what is the magic that you are doing right now? Well, I'm just uh, highlighting her eyes, uh, put some eyeshadow, and uh, that's it, really. Well, to be honest, it's not all about hair and makeup. A lot of you sent us emails asking us about simple exercises to do at home to get in shape just in time for your graduation ball. Now, today we have fitness guru Albert Forsythe, who took us through simple workout routines. Check it out. Now I'm going to show you how to get fit and get prepared before your graduation ball. Um, I'm going to take you through a um, series of exercises. The first one is to basically start with a light cardio exercise, which allows you to nice and loosen the body, gets the whole body stimulated, and we can move with a few stretches exercise. Then we can also move with dumbbell exercise and necessary different kind of range of movement with lunges and um, um, dumbbell pulls and lap pull down which gives the whole body a bit of carving exercise and allow the body to be able to adjust and this will actually give you that um, kind of body you want leading to um, whatever progress or whatever thing you're going to do with your graduation. is a lunge, yeah, you get the lunge position, you press up, come down, and always come back to your lunge position, yeah, you do it to the other side, keep it nice and tight, come back, and back. The second one we did was a back cross, cross, there, and back, cross, keep the weights, back, and cross, and there, back, and cross. Next one we did, the third one, is a lunge to the side. Lunge, keeping the back nice and straight, coming back, shoulder level, there, full stretch, coming back. Next one we did, it's a work, the squeeze ball. So, so you want to keep this here, keep your legs nice and strong, keeping weight, uh, the medicine ball in front of you, rotate, back, Rotate, back, put that aside. Then we went over to the shoulders, keeping the body up. Then pull, breathe. Pull, breathe. Pull, breathe. Then we go over to just a little push-ups on the knees from this angle. Keep your head upright, keep your legs off, leaning into it, and press. One, two, three, we do a couple of those, 
maybe 15. Yeah, on this side, from this angle, keeping the body nice and lean into the body, straight, up. And if you're confident enough, on the ball of your foot, and press. Next one we also did <clears throat> was the planks. Straight body plank, few seconds. Then we go over to the side plank. Making sure your body is straight light. Keep it this way. Breathe. The other side. Keeping it this way. Nice and tight. Also, we go over to push-ups. Sorry, um, sit-ups. Primary. Up, looking up all the time. Yeah few of those, 10, 15, then we go to the next one, 10, 15. So that will round up your whole session for the few hours you should take, an hour, an hour and a half, depends on you and depends on the rest in between. Phew, <laughs> welcome back. I tried doing the push-ups, but you know what? It takes a lot of work. So I will be needing more lessons from Albert. But anyway, we now have one of Birmingham's best bloggers, Emily Jane, sitting right next to me. Hello, Emily. You look wonderful today. Why, thank you. How Hi. does it feel to be in the limelight? It's great. Thank you for having me on. You have a very interesting style. How did your journey as a blogger begin? Um, it all started when I trained as a personal stylist and set up my own styling business. Mm -hmm. um, I was really keen to kind of bring a different edge to what was available out there. So I'm really passionate about colour, about getting women into more colour, about fashion and mm. diversity in fashion as well so getting mm. all shapes and sizes to really kind of feel fantastic about the way they look right that's great what's the name of your style and business uh, it's Emily Jane Emily Jane okay <laughs> so we want to hear some tips about some spring trends because you know it's a spring now and everyone's coming out with their fashion best so how do you mix and match and what should we wear um, totally I mean this season's really interesting actually right. because a lot of things that have been complete style don'ts are now very much style do. So a really good example is the double denim thing. That's which very true. A couple of years ago we'd be like, oh my god, yes. double denim. Yes. No. Now That's true. suddenly it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. um, but I think what we really want to focus on today, because mm -hmm. it's spring, it's mm -hmm. summer, we want something a bit bolder, a bit mm -hmm. more interesting, is the whole pattern mm -hmm. clashing mm -hmm. thing that's mm -hmm. happening. Mm -hmm. um, it's again something that would have been quite, you know, it looked a bit weird in the past. Now all of a sudden, it's just looking really right to do mm -hmm. really, really bold patterns in mm -hmm. big, splashy colours. Mm -hmm. I think someone who's been doing it really well mm -hmm. um, is Rashida Jones. Okay. Um, yeah. She, we can see her here. Yes. She's got. I mean, how amazing does she look? Very good. Bold colours. Um, and why this works so well mm -hmm. on her is that she's kept the accessories really, really simple. Yes, she has. She's let the dress do all of the talking. Mm -hmm. So she's gone for sort of picking out the, the darker kind of mm -hmm. the, the black there that really mm -hmm. suits her strong colouring as mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. rather than going for, ex if she'd have gone for something that was a little bit more mm -hmm. um, bigger mm -hmm. or more splashy, mm -hmm. then it really would have overtaken the mm -hmm. outfit. And I think she's just doing it I, so, so well I even so like well the belt here. because the contrast between the actual pattern and the belt looks really yeah, nice. Yeah, totally. Really it's nice. just taking another yeah. pattern and clashing right. it and the shoes mm -hmm. are patterned as well. So it's but really subtly. Yeah, so it's brilliant. I, I like it. However, it doesn't always work quite this well. Oh. Um, if we look <laughs> at um, Vanessa Williams, um, someone who usually oh, no. looks amazing. That's true. Love Vanessa. She's just sings so well. Mm -hmm. Now, technically, if you kind of look at this objectively, mm -hmm. it's a very similar outfit. And it is. you've got to kind of look at it and think, why isn't this working? Okay. For me, I think actually it's a scale thing. Okay. Because Vanessa's quite petite. She is. And she has just got this massive, massive pattern on. Mm -hmm. And she is drowning in it that dress. It does a lot. Yeah, it's too yeah, much. Totally. Too much. I mean, if you scaled down that pattern, she'd mm -hmm. totally get away with the bright colours. Mm -hmm. It'd be amazing. And also those sleeves. I mean, there is more sleeve than woman there. Mm -hmm. It's uh, They're so big. Mm -hmm. So take it in a slightly more streamlined mm -hmm. outfit, slightly smaller scale pattern, and mm -hmm. she'd be looking as good so as she So she got did. it wrong here. She, she didn't quite get it quite Because right. she looks like she's drowning in water. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a nice dress, but jeez. Yeah, not, not, <laughs> not the right one for her. Not the right one for her. <laughs> Sorry, Vanessa. But all right, should we invite our, our, our model Maria now? Let's see what she's wearing today. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, 
Maria here, I mean, we're, we're talking pattern, and you can't get much better than this amazing mm -hmm. dress. I like Big, it. Big, splashy, bold colours mm -hmm. by a fantastic local Birmingham designer. Mm -hmm. um, and what I think is really good about the way this has been styled mm -hmm. up is it would have been very easy to go with black accessories. Right. But instead, You've taken the colour, gone for yes. an orange bag, okay. the purple in the shoes. Just right. And it really picks those bright, bold colours mm -hmm. out. I mean, another thing you could maybe do is even take it into the makeup. We've got a lovely bright lipstick on yeah. with it as mm -hmm. well. What Just colour is the lipstick? It's, it's a lovely fuchsia to sort of pick out the fuchsias okay. and purples in the right. dress. So it really makes that that sort of colour pop. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. you could very easily go over top and, and do a Vanessa if you weren't careful. No. So it, although it we've this, gone, I mean, this really suits our model right Yeah, here. totally. It's, it's so really although we've good. gone really bright with the accessories, mm -hmm. they're all quite simple. Okay, so give me three words that sums up this whole outfit. I would say bold, mm -hmm. bright, yes. and probably a little bit sassy. Yes, I like it. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. That was very helpful of you. If you want more fashion advice and tips, why don't you check out Emily's fashion blog at www.emily-jane.com. Don't you think that everyone would love to look radiant at their graduation ball and to get glowing skin? We sent our contestants to One Day Spa where they gave out some tips on how to achieve that. Hold on a second. I think there's a slight problem. Okay, we have an argument in Studio D. Let's just see what's going on over there. Okay, I've had enough now. Obviously my model looks better than you, so I'm winning this. I feel sorry for you now. No, my model is so going to win this. Got it. Like, look Let's see it. about that. Look how beautiful she looks. She's <gasps> okay, you know, okay. But we'll this see. This is, you know. It's all about voting this, and mine's definitely winning. This is new winning. Naomi Campbell. New Naomi Campbell. Really? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, new okay. Naomi Campbell. Okay, yeah. Okay, we'll see about that. We'll see. Go away now. Not my friend anymore. <sighs> Will we ever? Okay, we'll just come back to that later. But let's just now have a look at our contestant trip at One Day Spa and the useful pieces of advice that Beth and Chloe gave on how to keep her skin and nails healthy for your graduation ball. So all we've done this morning is a basic cleanse, tone and moisturize. What that will do is there's a double cleanse to take the grime off the skin um, and then to treat it using a second cleanser. Um, we then tone the skin to bring it back down to its natural pH levels and then apply a moisturiser which will help to seal in the moisture and also to replenish the natural skin. Um, usually we would also include an exfoliation and a mask within the treatment. An exfoliation will help to slough off the dead skin cells um, and also to uh, replenish and help the skin to naturally regenerate. Um, the mask will then infuse the skin with more moisture and any other um, ingredients that it needs to correct any particular skin conditions or skin problems. For example, if you have particularly oily skin, then we can use a mask that will help to balance the sebum in the skin. Or if you have particularly dry skin, we can use a, um, a mask that will help to infuse the skin with additional moisture. For a day-to-day -day routine, we recommend that you use a cleanse, toner and moisturiser with an exfoliator and a mask at least once if not twice a week. What that will do is help to replenish the skin and keep it fresh and young looking. We do recommend that you use um, good quality products such as Dermalogica or Elemis. Um, we find that a lot of products on the high street contain mineral oils and alcohol which can dry and strip the skin and also block the skin cells. So whilst they're not expensive, um, they don't necessarily give your skin the goodness that it needs and they don't replenish it for you. Um, what that means is that over a period of time you'll see that you're not getting results and you may find that your skin starts to get combination or becomes more congested rather than less congested. You may find that you start to get spots and oils. If you have those sort of problems then it's always worth visiting a good um, spa or salon or a dermatologist to have them look at your skin and to recommend the right products that will work for you and your skin type and condition. So if you're looking at graduation we recommend that you come in to the salon um, at least six to, six to eight weeks in advance just to make sure that we can check your skin over and give you the right products to get your skin in absolute mint condition ready for your graduation ceremony. 
We also do a number of different beauty procedures for graduation including manicures and pedicures and gel nails at the moment are particularly popular where the gel polish is applied which lasts for 14 days or so um, and will leave your nails looking great. Um, we also do lash and brow treatments, um, spray tans um, and also really good massages which you can really use after you've had a stressful time doing your exams before you actually graduate. Okay, now is the time we have all been waiting for to reveal the winner of Viva La Mode. Would it be the Funky Matt or the Chic Valina? Okay guys, let's wrap it up. You have a countdown of five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that's it, guys. Lovely working with you, Matt. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm saving you. I'm saving you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, so to battle it out, the Alamo team gave you a budget of 200 pounds and you had 30 minutes to style the girl that you chose from the viewers. Yeah. So could you please sit comfortably? Thank you. Thank you. So studio audience, underneath your chairs you have a card. On the first part of the card you have Valina, which is the queen of spades, and on the other side you have Matt, which is the king of hearts. So what you're going to do, you're going to vote for the person after the catwalk. Now the power is in your hands. You can only vote for one person. Now models, you better rock the runway and work the runway and may the best team win. Thank you, models. Now can we invite Matt and Valina on the set, please? Now, studio audience, now it's time for you to vote. Please do not look at our wonderful audience while we're doing that, and we're gonna mention the actual winner of the competition. I'm proud to announce that the winner of Viva La Mode is Matt. Oh my gosh, well done. <laughs> Summer is just around the corner, the season of colors and style, and our next episode will be focusing on that. For more information, please head to our website, netproductions.wix dot com slash alamode like our facebook page at alamode or follow us on twitter and instagram at Alamo tv i'm your host tim victor and i'll see you soon at the same time thank you yeah.